Hey, so this is Deepak and today I'll show you how to run open source models like Llama 2, Code Llama, Mistral, Lava, etc. on your local machine and then get the outputs inside Google Sheets. So let's get to it. First of all, you will need to install Olama, which is like probably the most efficient way to run these models locally. So first, like it's very simple to install. If you are on macOS, then just download the app, install it on your computer. It's fairly simple for Linux as well. And for the Windows version, currently it's in preview. But if it doesn't work properly for you, you can also use the Linux on Windows 10 or 11 through WSL. So yeah, after installing the app, you will need to uh, do the following, uh, like you will need to run the following commands. So first of all, like I have opened uh, one folder on my computer in the terminal and from here i'll just need to run olama and run and whatever models you want to run for example uh, i want to run currently the mistral model so i can just write mistral and since i'm not running it for the very first time it will quickly start running and like if you run for the very first time it will download like three or four gbs uh, a file um, the mistral model on your computer so it will take some time for the very first time so i can just write here and it will provide the response as you can see so let's exit it for now i'll just say bye then clear so the olama is installed and it's properly running now let's move to the next step so inside the like this folder that i have opened i have also opened the same folder in uh, the visual studio code and i have written this code like python code which creates the api endpoint and then I like it will keep running on this port 5001. So yeah, if I run this, let me run it. Python 3 app.py. And once I run it, you will see that it's running on the localhost 5001. So let's keep it running. And now you'll have to install this ng-rock. So if you are on Mac OS, which I am, you can just use this simple command and it gets installed. And then you'll have to sign up. And after signing up, you'll be provided a uh, like kind of authentication token. So once you uh, run that command uh, containing the authentication token, it will like it will be all set up. So since the um, like this localhost is already running, let me open another terminal tab. Yeah, in the same folder, and then I can run it like run the command ngrock http. Uh, since the it's running on the port 5001 so i can just write 5001 and then it provides me with this https version of the url which i'll just copy and now everything is done you just need to move inside your google sheets once you go inside google sheets you go to this app script section i have already written the entire code here actually i'll be providing i'll be giving access to you uh, like this public github repo and every all code is here like the google seeds app script and the python code everything is here so as you can see that it's present here i just need to replace this tunnel with uh, um, this url that i copied from here and just save it and when you run it for the very first time it will ask you for some authentication but since i'm not running it for the very first time i can just uh, click select this call olama api and then hit run and it should start running and if there are any errors it will show in the terminal here as well it should show the error if there are any so it seems there are no error and the output should start coming so in the code if you see some of the settings uh, i have done here so for example okay let me close it okay so start processing from row to process until till like till row number 10 data sheet name so all the processing is being done inside sheet one it's written sheet one and then prompt columns prompt column is the column b and then output i want in the column c so as you can see the prompt is in b and the c so it will run till this 10th row and then it will stop so it should be as you can see here it's running so let's wait for it and let let it run and then yeah so it's simple you will get all, all the code but you'll also like when you start running you will have to name it settings because in the code if you see i have named it as settings so if you have, want to change it then you can change you'll have to change here as well 
so let's see it yeah till 10th it's running and now the execution has been completed because i have written here that only run till the road number 10th let's make it 11 or maybe even 12 or 15 as well because but the data is not there so it will just run for the 11th row which is here so let's run it again i can also run from here i do not have to if, even if i close this i can just run it from here if i run it 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 will start running and then we'll get the output here yeah so as you can see it's working perfectly and instead of ngrock you can also use uh, this cloudflare tunnel and whatever works for you so this is a very simple use case and you can add some functionalities to it if you understand code and you should be good to go so hope this helps and see you in the next video